Hello everybody, it's Minecraft Camera 5 here, or um, my name on Amino is actually Palm Tree, so um, this is mainly a video just for Amino, but um, you know, you can obviously just watch if you're not from Amino too, so sorry for the noise, I actually have a 3D printer going, uh, printing a sword. So anyway, um, this is a tutorial on how to make a sword. Um, or just any item and then add user data so you can scroll through the different types of the sword so I'm gonna go ahead and show you so first you're gonna need a uh, texture for the items so I have textures here uh, let's see items and I have all the minecraft textures for all the items here I'm just gonna search sword and I'm going to find the stone or wood sword and I'm going to drag it into cinema 4d um, I'll just click yes and then I'm gonna rename it wood sword and go in the texture and turn off reflectance and go to color and on sampling turn that to none so now it looks smooth like a minecraft sword and then you're gonna to wanna to make a plane and you're gonna to wanna to make the width 100 and the height 100 and the width segment 16 not 156 16 and height segment 16 so now you want to take the texture and you want to drop it on the plane and it's not 3D yet so we're going to do that next so um, I'm going to rename the plane to uh, wood sword alright so you want to click this up here uh, make editable editable, or you want to click uh, C and you want to go into polygon mode right here and you're going to want to select the sword so just the sword not the background this be careful not to select anything uh, if you do select something then uh, you can just hold down control and click it and it'll go away and there and now you want to push U on the keyboard and then push I that's going to invert it so it selects all the black out here and then just push delete on your keyboard so now it's just the sword and you want to do control A to select everything or to select it yourself but uh, control A is faster and you want to click D on your keyboard and you want to set the offset to 6.25 6, uh, that is the height of a pixel in Cinema 4D a Minecraft pixel in Cinema 4D and you want to check create and gone create caps and uncheck preserve groups and click apply now it's 3D, but this looks really bad. You can see there's a bunch of flashing here, and if you render this out, it's, it's just not good. Uh, you don't want that. Um, so you're going to want to uh, click on your mouse wheel or go to v, uh, camera and then click on front, but I'm just going to use the mouse wheel. And then you're going to want to click on live selection, and you're going to click or change the radius to 1 and uncheck only select visible elements and just slowly select all these here and make sure that it gets all the ones on the side and it looks like it did so now we can go to layout and change it to BPUV edit or I think if you're on a uh, older version it's uh, window uh, something something up here I don't think it's here anymore but um, something there and anyway, I'm just going to go here, BPUV edit. And you're going to want to go to materials and uncheck wood sword. And you can just drag this on here. And now you could paint on here, but we're not going to do that. Um, go to UV polygons, it's right up here. And then click unstitch UV. And now it looks a lot better if we go back to uh, the standard view. So it uh, looks a lot better. So now you have a sword. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to do this for all the other swords and uh, you should too and then we'll move on to the espresso. So see you Okay, I'm back and as you can see uh, I have all the swords. Uh, it just looks like one but if you turn the wood sword off over here you can see that there's other ones. So I do have all the swords there. So now it's time to do the user data. So um, I'm actually going to do it two different ways um, just to show you. So first you're gonna make a new null so uh, just click on the cube and go to null and you can rename this rename this uh, swords 
and uh, just take all these uh, hold shift and click on this one so click on the bottom one hold shift click on the top and drag these into sword and now you just have one object here um, I'm gonna copy and paste this just so I can show you the second one so this is just gonna be swords two. so this will be the first one that I'm gonna show you so the first way we're gonna do a slider so you're gonna wanna click on the null and you're gonna wanna go to user data add user data and then uh, you can rename this to sword type and change this to float slider and let's see we want one where it's off and then we want one where all the swords are on there are five swords and then off count six so we're gonna wanna change this to real actually and then we're gonna wanna change the max to six since there's six or there's uh, five swords and then we want off so that's what this is so zero is off one is a wood sword two is gonna be a stone sword and then you know six is gonna be diamond uh, so then just click OK and now you have the slider but it's not gonna do anything yet uh, you're gonna need to go to swords right click cinema 40 tags espresso and it's gonna make this the entire screen and then drag in swords and go to user data sword type and now we're going to open this up and we're going to take all these swords and drag them in and I'm just going to lay them out like this and let's see you want to go to basic properties visible and editor basic properties visible and render and do that for all these so this is going to take a little bit almost there alright there alright there finished it okay so now we're going to uh, connect these so first we actually need to do something else we need to do new node espresso calculate absolute and then just hook these up so you just click here and then drag into the input and then uh, next we're gonna do new node espresso uh, I think it's calculate uh, should be compare I might not be seeing it right uh, maybe it's in logic compare that's what it was alright uh, I can move these over and you're gonna wanna make um, five of these for every sword so it's like this gonna wanna line them up well, you don't have to line them up, but I like to. I think that's five. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. And you're going to want to select all of them. Uh, you can just click and hold and then drag this up and it'll select all of them and change this to integer. And then we're going to want to collect or connect the absolute up to input one on all these. And then you're going to want to click this one, and um, the first sword that we want is actually going to be a wood sword, so I'll just move these around. Wood sword, stone sword, uh, iron, gold, and then diamond. That's the order that it is in the textures. And um, so the first sword is going to be a wood sword, so we want to set the input to 1. And then the next sword... It's going to be stone, so the input's two, and then three, four, five. So um, now it goes up to five, and then go new node, uh, espresso, bool not, and then just connect these like that and make five of these like that. And then connect them like that. Um, And now you just want to connect the the one that has input to one. You want to connect that to the one that has um, the not. Or so you want to go compare to not to this one. So the one that has one is going to go to wood sword. The one that has two is going to go to stone sword like this. And you're just going to keep doing that. Oops. Uh, yeah. Make sure you connect them to the right one. 
and there now if we go back and we click on here um I see what we did all right this one I'm just gonna turn this off just so we can see this so now zero is nothing and then one is a wood sword two is a stone sword three is iron four is gold five is diamond and six is off again uh, I guess I forgot about that we should have gone to five but uh, it's kinda nice to have an off there too so I'm just gonna leave it so now you can slide through the swords and use the one you want and now I'm gonna cover the next one so I'm gonna go to zero on this one this one we're gonna have it so there's like a box that you check and then it'll turn it on so we're gonna go user data add user data and uh, we need a bunch of these so I'm gonna go wood sword and we're gonna change the type to bool or boolean and uh, just copy paste we're gonna do this uh, five times uh, one, two, three, four. yeah, we need one more. All right, and then the second one is going to be a stone. Stone. This one's going to be diamond. I mean, uh, iron. And this one's going to be gold. And this one's going to be diamond. There we go. And then just click OK. And now you can see that we have all these things. So now we need to. Do Espresso again, so uh, let's turn this back on. Right click, Cinema 4D Tags, Espresso, and drag in Swords 2. Uh, you don't have to make, you can only make one of these. Um, it just depends on which one you prefer. Um, so I'm going to go Swords 2 and then uh, take th this. So click on the red box, User Data, and you're going to want to add all these. So Diamond Sword gold sword the order doesn't really matter here iron stone and wood and then I'm gonna hold down control and I'm gonna double click on this so then it uh, makes it bigger so we can see and you're gonna wanna drag all these in again and you're gonna wanna do visible and editor and render so visible and editor visible and render pretty much the same as last time all right there almost done one more yay so I'm gonna control and then double click all these uh, just looks a little nicer and I'm gonna move them like this all right there so now um, this part uh, can be, it kind of depends on what you want. So if you want it so when you check this, it turns it on, um, then you're going to want to do one thing. If you want so when it's unchecked, uh, it's on, then you're going to want to do another thing. Uh, so I'm going to go to Swords, and I'm just going to test it. So New Node, Espresso, Bool, Not. And we're just going to try it with the Diamond Swords. Um, so... I'm going to actually select all of them except for the diamond sword. And I'm just going to visible and render off for now. So I'm going to hook up the knot to the diamond sword, visible and editor, and render. And now let's see. So now uh, when you click this, it turns it on. So that's what I want. Uh, if you want it the other way, you would just delete the knot and then just connect it from here to there. But um, I like it like this, so I'm just going to use that. So you need one for every one, every sword, um, and then just connect them like this. Oops. And then connect these to there. And after this it should be done, and then I'm going to show you how to save it. Um, not as a Cinema 4D file, but as a Live 4D file other people can use. So there we go. So now uh, if you just click on wood sword, it'll turn it on. If you click on stone sword, it'll turn it on. Uh, you can actually do two at once. Um, so I would think that you would just use one. But um, now we got to save it. So what you want to do is go to window, content browser, 
And it might take a second, and I'm going to make it a little bigger. There we go. Do file, uh, new preset library, and I'm going to just type in swords and click OK. And then just drag in the sword objects, and it'll automatically put the textures in for you. And there you go. So now just right click, show in explore, or if you're on Mac, I think it's show in finder. And you want to look for it in here. I have a lot of rigs. Um, I think. Did I pass it? No. There it is. So you want to just copy this, and then you can just paste it wherever you want. And that's it. So now if I close this, uh, Cinema 4D, and then I open it, and take this, the Live 4D file, and drag it in there. And then, uh, let's see, I can pull these in, and they should work, and they do. So then we have this one with the slider too. So yeah, that is how to make uh, that's how to make like an item and then have Expresso to change the type of item. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.